Hi, this is Kerry R. Tech with Wicked Stocks, bringing you your daily Tesla report for Monday, July 29th, 2024. But before we check out the charts, I just want to ask you to please click like, share, subscribe, and check out wickedstocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos, just like the daily Tesla and daily NVIDIA reports, daily analysis in the SPY, daily analysis in the Triple Q, weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and Apple stock, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor, always looking for 20% moves or or more on those underlying stocks. And you get to see all of this for free. We offer a five-day free trial up front. So check out wickedstocks.com. Let's take a look at the charts. Start with the big picture. We settled uh, over a month ago, above actually a month ago last Friday, above the 201.79 one-year channel top. This is a weekly chart that indicated three to five months bullish continuation to 328.66. This is still a viable uh, three to five month objective. Uh, we are, you know, allowing for a retest of 201.79. That may be sort of baked in already. I'll get to that in a moment. But 201.79 solid pullback support you can buy into you know whether you're a day trader three to five day swing trader three to five week swing trader or three to five month you know near-term investor the low 200s all the way down to 192.58 is your bottom picking territory uh, whether you're short uh you know presently or soon to be short uh in, in the later week which i'll get to in a moment either way that is sort of buying back a short position and reversing and going long under all those time frames in fact if i to look at the daily chart i can show you this is the zone of support uh between 20202 on the daily chart this is the same one year channel top that i mentioned a moment ago on the weekly chart down to 192.58 which is a rising two-thirds speed line now taking a look at this daily chart you can see that it was the earnings wednesday of last week that gapped clearly below our 246.22 rising one-third speed line and with respect to speed line analysis when you settle below the rising one-third speed line your objective becomes the rising two-thirds speed line at 192.58 and that's not a shoe in it's not as if it always happens that way but that is sort of the kind of the background objective 192.58 in reach possibly within a matter of days let me talk at the uh, daily chart here also has a rising channel bottom at 213.57 so 213.57 is your day trade uh, also your two to three day swing trade because of off of 213.57 and you can see that here we also have 220.93 a descending one-third speed line so this is your sort of tightly wound pivot area now if we close above 220.93 i'm expecting 236.21 within a matter of uh one to three days depending on volatility this could be a two to three day rally but if we close above 220.93 i do think we've got the 246.22 to 246.55 a 56 region as as a realistic by the end of next week objective this could also be within three to five days with a high volatility move but it could take the better part of two weeks with a lower volatility move so closing above 220.93 is your upward pivot point a three to five day swing traders out to one to two week swing traders with 236.21 along the way being a decent area where this market can tap out for the day that is a 3 8 upside fibonacci from that july high against the more recent low of wednesday of last week but until then, 220.93 may be it to the upside for the day and for the next couple of days as we fall back to test 213.57. So whether or not we have a clear-cut objective for what I mentioned before as this 20202 to 192.58 narrowing zone of support that actually narrows entirely into a single point on August 7th has everything to do with whether or not we close today below 213.57. That's about, you know... Under other circumstances, 213.57 could certainly be a three-star weekly support level. Uh, but um, given this gap lower development that occurred last week, you know, given the fact that we closed below the rising one-third speed line, I am skewing ever so slightly into anticipating the 192.58 to 202.02 .02 region uh, within uh, the next week or two 
or three, depending. Uh, and, um, you know, our clear cut uh, expectation for that 20202 level would come with a settlement today below 213.57. Now, you know, with overnight weakness in the futures markets in the S&P 500, and if Tesla were to actually open today below 213.57, that is a clear sell signal right out of the gates. And I do think 20202 uh, would be in reach today if we were to open below 213.57. So that is a downside day trade. Opening below 213 57, 20202 <laughs> in reach, uh, intraday, and that is the beginning of this narrowing zone of significant support down to 192.58 that can contain not only daily selling pressures, not only weekly selling pressures, but quite possibly through the rest of the third quarter and into later year. That 20202, once again, is a 20179 on the weekly chart. So this is still a significant support level that can be bought longer term in anticipation of 328.66 by the end of the year. Now, of course, that 328.66, that clarifies as a realistic, uh, you know, one to three month objective if we are over the next, um, you know, week or two to settle above this 246 handle resistance. This is a descending channel top, the top of a move. If we can close above it, there's your 328 way up here. And I call that a one to three month objective. Depending on volatility, of course, uh, if we were to settle above this 246.22 to 246.56 area. Once again, 246.22 to 246.56, um, you know, that is a one to two week target if we close today above 220.93. Let me talk about the open above 220.93. If we open today above 220.93, 226.62 is likely. And there is, of course, the possibility with a high volatility move of reaching 236.21 by the close bell. So, um, you know, as I said before, if we open today below 213.57, 20202 in reach. And inversely, if we open today above 220.93, there is the possibility of 236.21 by the closing bell with a high volatility uh, rally today. On the way up, 226.62 is a solid resistance area for aggressive day traders. Uh, but if we open today above 220.93, you should allow 236.21 intraday. If we do not open above 220.93, but push through it on an intraday basis, then 226.62 is a realistic resistance area that may contain buying for the rest of the day because I think volatility could stay the same as it has been for the last few days, this kind of narrow range following that gap lower. Um, and then, of course, closing above 220.93. I see no good reason to then be short Tesla as we move through the rest of the week, expecting 236.21 within one to three days. And by the end of next week or sooner, the mid 240s and changing a little bit every day. Where profits can be taken, 246.22 to 246.55. If you happen to be long following a settlement today above 220.93 and you hold that into the mid 240s, this is where profits can be taken and a short entry made, a short position set as we move into later August, we can fall away from 246.22 to 246.56. But once again, closing above 246.56, certainly not going to happen today. But I'm kind of giving you the heads up in terms of what is the upward pivot into later August that we could then ante uh, anticipate, you know, bullish continuation as we move into September trade. And I would then anticipate with a settlement above 246.56, uh, that um, longer term objective, once again, at 328.66, within just another one to three months, depending on volatility. Have I said everything? Uh, once again, I'm going to take us back to the downside, that if we open today below 213.57, 20202 in reach, bottom picking territory as we move through August and even in the later year. If we do not open below 213.57, but merely close below it, I'm going to call that kind of a one to three day objective. 192.58 to 20202, solid bottom picking territory. That is sort of your, uh, your, your, your profit taking area on a short position and long entry, not only over the three to five week, but even the three to five month time frame. Have I said it all? I think I have. I've thrown a lot at you, but um, you know these are important points 
to look at, um, you know, as we move into later week and for the day itself. I'm trying to find the right chart to show you. I think this is the one to show you for the day. 213.57 support, 220.93 resistance. These are also directional pivot points uh, into later week if settled below or above. Above, expecting the mid 240s by the end of next week. Below 213.57, only anticipating this uh, 192.58 to 202 region, which is narrowing daily into a single point, uh, you know, about a week and a half from now. I'm going to leave it at that for um, this uh, Monday's Tesla report. Please click like, share, subscribe. Check out wickedstocks.com. Putting out two stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube. That's actually going to be coming to an end pretty soon, by the way. We're going to start offering a free weekly stock pick every week. Uh, and we'll get to that later. That's going to be rolled out here in the next few days, the next week, week and a half. And I'll be talking more about that. You have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow with Tuesday's Tesla.